Um, the other thing as far as not limiting the machine and how it normally operates is maximum reach. We wanted to keep the working envelope the same. Which means that if you're pulling sets, let's say that you're doing underground utility or you're digging a basement with this technology and you want to maintain max reach and you want to have it pull a flat floor all the way from max reach in tight. Okay? When that happens is we wanted to make sure that it can maintain that through the full working range of the machine. You may ask, well, what's the big deal about that? Because if you ask operators what's the toughest part of pulling grade, at what point in pulling that grade is the toughest part? A lot of times you get the answer that it's in the transition. And that's a part that operators have to manually manage. They have to manage through that transition. And if you watch people grade, especially lesser experienced operators, that's one area where sometimes it's a little bit of a whoops. And a little bit of a whoops is this transition. And it's managing going from boom up to boom down. Meanwhile, you're controlling the stick and the bucket at the same time, three functions. More experienced operators, they don't have as much of a problem. For a lesser experienced operator, now to be able to pull through that grade, max reach to in tight, and have a clean, flat floor, not having to work through that transition can save a lot of time, and it can save some rework. Well, that's something that we're pretty proud of, is that it will modulate not only boom up, but boom down. Others can't say that. Okay, so it manages through that transition. Boom up and boom down. And why is that important? Is because you can have to move the machine less if you can pull that full 15 foot in one swipe instead of maybe seven or eight and then have to track back up because my flattest floor is only when I'm booming up.